shook it up. Good morning. It's Saturday, 8.30 in the morning. I'm so sleepy, so I do my little introduction out here. Super sunny day. my sprints they kind of got more aggressive as I went on I increased the speed as I got warmed up my legs are like pumped out now as you can see there's weighing scales here in the gym and I've been weighing myself in the mornings and my weight has been sat at 117 pounds and I don't know whether that's accurate or not because at home before I left I was 112 and a half pounds so I was like two pounds up from my previous stage weight um, so I'll just have to wait and see when I get back. I don't feel like I look as lean as I did before I left. I don't know where it's the food because all I've been eating really, and you'll see throughout the day, is kind of lower carb, high protein, eating a lot of chicken, salads, and um, kind of avoiding potatoes and rices and stuff because a lot of them are just cooked in oils and creamy. So I've just been avoiding them. I have like a slice of bread for my breakfast, but apart from that, I haven't had any protein supplements while I've been here. Normally I have a protein bar or cookie halfway through the day, but then I'm having an extra meal, like an extra salad or something throughout the day. So I'm not really sure what's going on with my weight. I know I'm not looking as good as I have. and um, My abs have kind of gone bye-bye the last couple of days. But then Lex suggested that perhaps it was because I have been training abs here and sometimes that can kind of swell them up. So we'll have to wait and see till we get home. I kind of am looking forward to getting home, cooking my own food. Like, I love sitting in the sun and soaking it up, but I'm just such a control freak. I, I like my coffee, I like my food. They don't have, like, any dairy-free alternatives here in the hotel. We don't really cater for people with dietary restrictions, to be honest. Um, they have lots of vegetarian options, but I don't know whether they're vegan or not. It could be cooked in animal fat for all I know, the vegetables, butters and stuff. Uh, but it's like, it's a nice hotel, it's not amazing. It's meant to be five star, but definitely isn't five star. It's more like a three star. And um, there's a lot of families here. It would be good if you had a small child or a big group. But I think for a couple or if you've got older kids, there is like nothing for teenagers to do. Really. Like there's like tennis courts and stuff, but there's no you're kind of like cut off, you can't really wander anywhere, you know, there's not really many shops or anything around. But it's nice just to come for five days to relax. And you can always get back to the diet when I get home. I've got my photo shoot with Jimmy Shark next week and that's what's kind of playing on my mind, that I want to look good for that and I want to have my abs back in full fighting fitness. So I have been doing these sprints, it's about a 23 minute circuit of hip training and I do, I've been doing them every morning since we got here and I've been doing weight training every evening so I'm getting in my exercise so it's not that excuse of not being lazy I, I think it must be just salt and stuff in the food I am enjoying it though, Lex did good it's nice to get away and relax because now I'm like rare and fit and ready to go I'm not like, you know when you're dieting for ages and all you can think about is what you're going to eat now I'm just kind of like I want to get back to my normal food my egg white omelettes and my cauliflower rice at night. I know it's sad. This is my day attire. I've got a bikini on, cut off shorts, crop top, and I'm using this sunscreen. 
it's a factor 20 ultra sun glimmer i got it in tk max but it makes you literally glisten in the sun you can't really see it on me now but when i go out in the sun it literally reflects the light it looks awesome and then on my face i wear this bioderm 50 plus because i like to protect my freckly face so you can see it gives you kind of like a coverage kind of like makeup and I've got my vitamins here, so I take zinc and selenium, so I've just got enough left, and that's like a water retention tablet. I've been using this lip gloss, or I don't know, lip balm from Tarte. It's really, really nice, but it's very hard to get your hands on Tarte in the UK. You can see it has a bit of a colour in it, but it really softens your lips. It doesn't really give you a proper colour as such, but it's really moisturising. I've been using that since I got it but it did take like what two weeks for it to arrive I have to find a better place to get my tart cosmetics because I really like that I'm gonna run out as promised I brought my blend bros with me I haven't used it too much to be honest but it's for emergencies and then these little bad boys you can add them to yogurt or to coffee which is what I've been doing I look really tired but I don't know how I've just been lazing about the last couple of days some of this brown bread, two poached eggs. I'll probably take the yolk out of one of them. I've got some smoked salmon, capers, lemon, and a coffee, and I've sprinkled it with a generous amount of cinnamon. Zero percent Greek yogurt, some oats, and a little bit of fruit. So most mornings I've actually had some mushrooms as well that were like soaked in oil, but I just put them in a napkin and dabbed off all the oil. But today I didn't have them. So that was what I had. I also took a bite out of the pastry and I took coffees. And Lex discovered today that the milk is semi skimmed, it's 1.5%. So I've been going without it thinking it was full fat milk. And now I've been having nice milky coffees the whole time, Lex. Oh well. Now let's get ready. Yeah, it's good to be Time for a break from the sun and for some lunch. It's just buffet style food and handily they have kind of rough macros on a lot of foods so it's good for me to get a rough estimate of what I can eat and what I can't eat. A massive big salad, lettuce, cabbage, um, cucumber, got a few olives, got some of this kind of spicy tomato mise thing and then just some fish and a lex. <laughs> Kick it as lemon water. Three pieces. Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known Chase the night, race all of these broken dreams in flight, and we'll fly. We're headed to the gym, getting a little bit of a session. I was tempted to just stay in the room and add a bath, get a face mask. Yeah, to be fair, I wouldn't have been going if I'd just like, oh, it's bloody gone down. Oh, no. no. Just getting the lift down because we're on the eighth floor, not being lazy like people who are on the first floor. The drop down yet? No, I'll do that now. So there's Three, the lobby. Two, one, closing doors, commencing launch. Two, one, go. Whee! Just your standard lobby tree that's over 20 feet tall. It's not real. Yeah, it is. Bye bye, Lobby. We're going to the basement. That's real, that tree is Oh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they say things, but I just believe them. So you say You're so gullible. Into the gym the for the second that. time today.
blast, upper body, biceps and triceps. Got a little bit of a sweat on. Now I'm gonna go up, take my hair out of my beautiful little bobby curls, and it's time for dinner. No, whoops, wrong one, god damn it. I'm so sorry, yeah. Three. Three. How he takes selfies. One. Two. One. This is what really happens. <laughs> Stupid kids. <laughs> so, so you get a good one. Take about a million. Oh, four, five. Curls are out, so are the nipples. And I'm wearing, the top is from Forever 21, it's double layered. And the skirt has like poppers all down the front, kind of fitted. It's a little bit long, so I kind of turned it in. And this is from ASOS, and get the boob there. And I'm gonna go for dinner. We've got some shish chicken, tzatziki, and I've got a whole load of salad underneath and I'm going to add on some of the Blend Bros sweet chilli and a glass of Prosecco One of each baklava It's a sample That is safe This is the different nut I don't know Cond Cond So it is 10 to 10 and those old fogies are having some green tea and hot chocolate and going to bed. We had a really nice time today but now it's time to sleep because that's what we're here for to relax and rejuvenate. Thanks for watching. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, 